classic. Bust, 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 bust. Shake and bake and pull it back. Oh my god. Oh my god. Two nights. Yo, this is my first comic call of 2020. That's right, 2020, y'all. Excuse my voice. I'm a little under the weather, man. So uh, if I start cracking up under pressure, um, please forgive me. But I actually got sent home today, man. This, this new year has not been very good to me, man. I've been sick a lot. And uh, no, I don't have the coronavirus, although I do need some limes to go with the coronas I have at home. But uh, yeah, man, I actually got sent home. I went to work today. I was sick all weekend, actually. So for Super Bowl, I just uh, drank NyQuil and uh, codeine. Yeah, so I went to work today, thought I'd be okay. I was started hacking at work. And if you're a fan of Survivor, I got voted off the island. <laughs> all my coworkers were like, dude, go home. Get out of here. I was like, all right. I was out of there at like, 10 o'clock or so, man, I was, I, saw, I was like, you know what, I got some time, I got some comics, let's get right to it, boys and girls, real quick comic book haul, uh, first up, this is, I got these from my man, The Big To Do, uh, I wear comic tunes and toys in Tustin, California, first of all, this is King Size Master of Kung Fu, King Size Annual number one, and if you tell and I've been collecting a lot of this book, because guess what, this is the first time Iron Fist has ever met Shang-Chi. Also picked this up, which is kind of a quirky book. I've been picking up a lot of uh, horror Marvel books. Uh, Marvel horror books, however you want to say it. Uh, this is Creatures on the Loose, number 30. This is the first solo uh, title of Man-Wolf. That's right. Right after this issue, following this issue, they start taking Man-Wolf into kind of this trippy area where he becomes Star God. I have that book as well, but this is his first solo. Uh, Creatures on Loose before this was just some random weird monsters. This is the first like man wolf that came out from the Amazing Spider Man, who was J. Jonah Jameson's son. Uh, speaking of horror, War of By Night number 13. This is the first appearance of Topaz, another one of the kind of magical supernatural characters of the Marvel Universe. Topaz is one of the magic users. Uh, so this is a key appearance because Topaz was talked to me and used. Um, and some of the horror stuff that had originally planned for Hulu, but from what I've been told, they still plan on doing it. This is a nice high grade copy. Forget the lighting. Um, all these are in mylar, so you have to <clears throat> forgive the lighting. That's the only way to film this, by the way, is to use two separate light sources, one on each side. So this way, slabs and mylar both work. All these are in mylar. Uh, this is Shanna the She Devil, number one. First appearance of Shanna the She Devil. This is a beautiful white copy so hard to find in this grade uh that but man I, I may get this slab next up is i am definitely getting this slab this is my third copy uh this is a special marvel edition number 16 the second appearance of shang chi the master of the kung fu's this is a gorgeous copy too this is definitely slab worthy i think i'm gonna hit up my man rocky comics and go get that slab next up another bronze age banger this is defenders number one Another awesome, awesome cover. Uh, this is the team, uh, Doctor Strange, Submariner, and the Hulk. Dare I say, one of the most powerful teams ever. Or shall I say, non-team team, because team, if you guys are familiar with the Defenders, they were called the non-team team. And speaking of Defenders, if you're going to get number one, 
might as well get their first appearance. This is Marvel feature number one, the first appearance of the Defenders with said Doctor Strange, Submariner, and Z-Hulk. And if you can tell, there's a, definitely a horror theme going here. It's my second copy of this. Uh, my other's a slab copy. I think I'm going to get this one signed by Neil Adams. This is Tomb of Dracula number one, the first appearance of Dracula in the Marvel 616 with the awesome cover by Neil Adams himself. So when I see his blue shirt of WonderCon, I am definitely going to proof this comic so he doesn't finger fuck it. And then I'm going to get him to sign it and then send it off to CGC. I, I think I can probably get a... Uh, maybe a 9.0 out of this, maybe better, man. It hasn't been pressed yet, so definitely going to do that. Next up is some uh, really banger Silver Age issues, man. Boom! X-Men number three. This helps me complete my X-Men run. Really, the only ones I have to complete are in the single digits. Uh, I have about six or seven issues. This helps me knock out one of them. This is X-Men number three. It's the first appearance of the Blob. Uh, not the first appearance of the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, which comes out in issue four, which the Blob is part of. So this is a pretty key issue in the X-Men lore. Not bad. Next up, this is now officially my oldest X-Men issue ever. This is X-Men number two. The first appearance of the Vanisher. And uh, that's it. There's no really other first appearance. I guess you could say it's the second appearance of uh, the X-Men and Professor X. So I'll go with that. Second appearance of them. And the first appearance of the Vanisher. Such a popular villain, he just vanished. Get it? I'll be here all week. And last but not least, got this. In my 35 plus years of collecting, I have never ever owned this comic. Which was odd to me. So I was like, you know what? I need to grab it. This is uh, Journey into Mystery, King Size Annual, number one, the first appearance of Hercules. Rumored to be coming in the MCU sooner than later. A must have for any Marvel fan. And that's it, boys and girls. Uh, <coughs> Ooh, I finally coughed. Well, with that, I bid you adieu and keep digging in them long boxes. I'm going to go chug some NyQuil right now. So we will hopefully see you guys on Wednesday. If not, see you some other time. Peace out, everybody.